Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Amphibia Season 2 Episode 7B called The Planters Check-In and you know let's get started of what we, of what we you know left off you know um, Anne solved the puzzle gram from the first half of the episode and the king said bring me the planters and now we are at Newtopia, uh, Newtopia Castle, and look at this castle. Oh, it looks so awesome. And you know, we have Anne, Marcy, Sprague, Polly, and Hop Hop walking. Just look at that door. Just look, look, look at the two fishes. Is that supposed to be Krill? It, it might be Krill. And you know, and um, and then. And it's like, so, you know, like, dang, girl, you've been living here? And Marcy's like, well, you know, mostly, yeah, and living in a castle, it was, has been awesome. And then Sprig's like, I can't believe we're finally here, because you don't know, long awaited. And Paul's like, yeah, we're going to meet the king of Amphibia. And, and Hop Hop's like, oh my goodness, look at this place. Um, am I just okay? Should, should I wear my silk ascot? I'll go get it. And then Marcy's like, guys, don't worry about it. It's, it's not a big deal. L Lady Olivia comes in. Frog family, King Andrus is waiting for you. This is a big deal. And just you hear like the opera music and you just look, look at the beautiful stained glass and and you see the like, soldiers everywhere and um. You look like a hop up. He's so worried about his ascot. You'll be fine, don't worry. And I just want to play this right here. May I present to you Andreas Leviathan, Lord of Amphibia, peacekeeper of a thousand years and the first of his name. Oh, that's king size. I, 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 I was going to play his voice, but... I, I just don't want to play it too long, but he we we just got a bunch of info, not too much, but he's like, may I may I present you, Andrus Leviathan, peacekeeper of a thousand years and the first of his name, and it's like that's King Side, yeah, this is King Side, and by the by his hands and the shadowing, I think that was him. I think we'd be safe to assume that was him by the the tower, and then he's like. Hello, Planter family, and I like his I like his design. Was he in battle? Dude, look at that mark. Ooh, that'd be cool if he can fight. And look at his throne. <laughs> he, he's a big dude. And he's like, and he's like, I like how Hop Hop's respectful. Kids bow. And then he's like, Oh, it's so good to finally meet you. And then he's like, He's just laughing. And it's um Keith David who plays his voice. And Lady Olivia comes in, um, King Andreas, please, I thought we talked about this, you know, about castle etiquette, and he's like, oh, etiquette, medicate, and it's, oh, who do we have here, and look at Anne, so nervous, and she's like, hi, and it's like, oh, you must be Anne, sup, hey, Marcy, am I saying it right, sup, she's like, oh, you... wait a minute, sorry, um, you got it, <laughs> thumbs up, oh, the, Thumb of approval. And, and I just want to play this right here. Okay, I just, um, I if you just caught that, um, maybe I should play it back um where she said oh let me give you a thumb for you Anne when Anne gave that fist bump can I can I catch a glimpse of it by pausing maybe I can't hold on hold on hold on you look look at it right there there's like blue sparklies and she's like whoa ho, ho. is that Anne's powers is this blue I'm just saying it 
it kind of looks blue, but Andrew's like, oh, oh the delightful, but he's like, okay, but let's get down to business to get you girls home safe and sound. Okay, he's a good, he's a good dude. And he's like, oh, but, but alas, um, you know, without the, the music box, I, there's nothing much I can do. Marcy doesn't have it, you know, she, you know, she said she doesn't have it, so I'm assuming you don't either. And she's like, oh no, I, I do have the box. And she's like, he's like, well, that, that's wonderful then. You, we can send you home, basically. But he didn't really say that by implying it. Oh, come, come, let, let's see it. And she's like, oh, I don't have it, have it. Hop Hop said that he has some contacts that, that he could take a look at it. What can I, look at Hop Hop. <laughs> Hop up, what did you know? What do you know? He's just nervously laughing. Oh my goodness. He's oh, I have a photo of it. And he's just, ooh, a photo. Like, you know, let me take a look at it here. And his, I like his glasses. It reminds me of Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. I don't know, I kind of like it. And we get some info. He's like, oh, Marcy. Did look, 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 look at these gems. They're decolored. You said they were colorful, but look, they're gray. And I didn't really like this because, and it's like, oh, I, I didn't notice it. Like, now you mentioned it, I never noticed that. And how long have you had the box? Seriously. How long have you had it? I think, but it's, it'd be pretty obvious when you... Take it for the thrift store, the thrift store, and it's colorful. You open it, and now it's decolored. I think it'd be pretty easy to remember that. And the box is the only way home. I think you would want to do everything in your power to know everything you can about this box. She just forgot. That's the thing with Anne that I I think that kind of frustrates me, especially through season two, that she forgets things. I'm not going to let it bother me too much, but that was like my first eh thumbs down for me in this episode. Come on. And he's like, I, I like his, um, I like his sunglasses. This is going to require more further study, you know, in my d d deepest of my archives. And then Anne wants to help. She's very helpful. Marcy, how can I help? Can you decipher ancient amphibian runes? I sure can't. Oh, don't worry, dude. You know, I, I, I got this. Don't worry. Oh, nice. Just a group projects back home. Okay, I'm just gonna stop it right here. There's another clip I'm definitely gonna show, but you know, you know, just a group projects back home, and King Andreas is like, "Well, that's the plan. Marcy and I are gonna, you know, find everything we can about the box, you know, study more about it." Well, and planters, I have a gift for you. Pick a hand. Is the wind is blowing their faces, and it's like kind of like, hmm, and I'm just like, <clears throat> and it's like, oh, this one, psych, and it's like. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, but look at this. Oh, the royal credit card. Ooh, that's interesting. And he's like, the like, you know, oh, oh, he also said, um, we booked you a suite at the Hemisphere Hotel. My treat. Ooh, so cool. Now we know what we're saying. Because I'm like, where did they say? Where did they, I, they have beds in the wagon. So, oh, we'll just stay in the wagon. We're not going to intrude. But cool, they have a hotel room. You know, can't wait to see that. But, you know, um... And then, you know, um, he's like, oh, you know, pick a hand and, and it has the royal credit card now. And it's like, but be careful with this. Wars were waged for less. Oh my goodness, how much money have I spent on the war? But whatever. Um, and he's like, well, everyone, you enjoy the sights of Utopia. Enjoy, you know, please. You know, it's his kingdom, you know, he wants to be hospitable. And, you know, and then Spirit's like, come on, family, let's go explore Newtopia.
Okay, we're back. And this time it's not an ad problem. It's just, you know, um, two different clips on two different videos. But now we're back with this. And when I said, when Sprig said, come on, family, let's go explore Newtopia. Um, I just want to wait. First, I want to say the background. I love this hotel room. I love the ocean. I love it. You know, we have um, these towels. And it's like in a row. And all in robes, hop ups. We need a book, a mushroom lamp. Sprig plushie, and this is like a you know bottom of a clam. I just love it. The the baskets, oh. I, everything about this is just I love it. Okay, I just want to play this right here. Okay, so, you know, he's pretty like, what do you mean no one wants to see Newtopia? And Hop-Pop's like, not happening. Like, they just want to relax. You know, because they just, went, they just went to see the king. He's like a big deal. They just want to relax now. They just dealt with that. And Polly's like, Polly happy right here. And it's like, Spray's like, and come on, you're with me, right? No, I just want to explore that gift basket. She's like, never mind, maybe later. And she, and you know, she's like, come, he's like, come on, guys. The, the city's our playground. And, you know, um... And, you know, and Hop Hop's like, Come on, Sprig. Um, because, um, Hop Hop makes, like, a little... This is kind of funny, because Hop Hop's like, Come on, Sprig. The city will still be there tomorrow. Probably. This dangerous stuff happens all the time. And then Sprig's like, Oh, how about I use the Royal, Red Royal Credit Card? And he's like, Sprig Planter. You are not to use this credit card outside the hotel. And I like the, I like the design on it. Pretty cool. And she's like, okay, fine, I won't. Good. And everyone's sleeping. And, and then, you know, he's kind of like, he's kind of, hmm. He didn't say anything about using it inside the hotel. Yeah, but you also didn't ask him either. But, you know, Spring has done this before, so, yeah. You know, you, you know the drill. And then, um... And Sprig opens the door. And, um... If you can guess his voice... I don't want to play too much, but if you didn't get it, that was Mabel's voice from Gravity Falls. Yeah, you, you, you can t kind of tell. And she's like, um, uh, how about, she's like, oh, um, amount of student debt. I couldn't imagine because I'm in college, but, you know, I, I just couldn't imagine that. Um, But I just seen, you know, like, you know, my friends in my classes, you know, they talk about that stuff. And I'm like, oh my goodness. But she's like, oh, amount of student debt. I had to take a job of being, um, uh, like, you know, the person who takes up the bags, and she's like, oh, well, what's her name, um, Bella, Bella Hop, I think, was, and she's like, oh, I had the rest of your bags here, and, you know, and she's like, um, how about a tip, and he's like, oh, sure, he's, he's thought a tip for him, he's like, oh, what's the best thing you can think of in the, in the, you know, the hotel, and she's like, oh, no one has asked me that before, but, in my opinion, it's the indoor Ferris wheel, the sunset from there will change your life. Thanks for the tip. Uh, and then you know, I, I I just love the the I just love everything about this hotel. And it's worth oh my goodness, my reaction, oh my goodness, I love it so much. It's like a, and he's oh my goodness, look look at this, look at this, and look at that indoor fair suit. I want to go on this thing. And I'll save you for later. He winks. He's like, I, I like his outfit. I like his hair. Um, are you winking at that Ferris wheel? Yes, I'm rich, so deal with it. Oh, very good, sir. He's you know, he's rich. You don't want to displease the rich. Ant cream. Okay. And he's like, oh, I want the best ant cream ever. And he's like, oh, you want the, some napkins? We don't look like a slob. Blah, 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 blah. And you, you see Bella just cleaning up after his mess. I feel bad for her. And he's a big frog. And he just crashes everything. 
Hey. And look, look, he just has different hairstyles. Ooh. And Dragon Ball Z. Ooh. Ooh. Perfect. Thank you, my good man. Now to put on my hat. <gasps> no. And Bose's, you, you know, Joe's basically, you know, coffee. And he's like, oh, um, what was it? Like 20 Bugachinos? And what was it five Bugachinos? And he's like, oh, these are really extreme for you. Five, I say. Okay. Bop a dee bop. Blah, blah. Like, you know, he, and she's like, oh, this tastes disgusting as coffee. Oh, maybe Hot Pop might like it. Oh, one to go, please. And he puts one in his, like, his jacket, but... But when you take a look right there, you don't see it. I just don't like animation. Just make it bulky. Like, you can do it. It will look weird, but he's like, oh, he has the coffee with them. But, man, whatever. And then he's like, oh, I don't know what you meant by extreme. What? And he's everything is slowing down. <laughs> I had to play this. And because he's like, I think I cut it off, but he's like, I'm the Time Lord now. He's like, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> okay, dude. And he's like, whew. I, you know, I still have some money left. You know, I still have a lot of money left for, you know, let's do the indoor Ferris wheel. He just drops it. Oh my goodness, Sprig. No. And he's on 24. Right? I like this elevator. I like everything in Newtopia. We, you know, it, War would look nice and Totar looked awesome and like, you know, hardcore. But I like Newtopia. I think I'll live here because it's very ocean, very coral-like. I just like prefer this. So, yeah. But their houses must be so expensive. He's like, he said, oh, you young man, like, do you mind giving us a lift? He said, oh, we're trying to go to the, what is it, the casino? Not too floor. Oh, maybe it won't be the 18th. Oh, he's like, oh, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, this isn't a casino, but we have all the time in the world. We're old. He, 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 he. He just throws her cane and just jumps off. Oh, my goodness. And he's like, she puts like ice in her sandwich. That people say there's a reference to something with college and money and debt. I don't really know, but and he's, she's like, "Oh, ten more. Uh, oh, go better, go Bella. Blah. What's wrong? What's wrong with my mouth? Go Bella. You know, it's that old heart mom. So okay, her mom cares about her. And he's like, "Oh, you know, um, oh, five more minutes until you break, Bella. He said, "Oh, is this it? Oh, you know." Uh, people told me that, you know, hopes and dreams are pointless. You know, I should give up. Oh, pfft, oh, I didn't think I would get my card with unlimited funds on it back. Did you see unlimited funds? I sure did. Oh, you're going to steal it, aren't you? Finders keepers. Oh, hey, get back here. And then Angel and Spurs like, oh, finally, finally time to ride the Ferris wheel. He's like, she's like, are you winking at that first wheel? Yes, son of a bitch, and so deal with it. And then you, and she's like, ha ha, I'm a frog, and you're not. And she's a newt, they're faster. He's like, oh, I'm so glad I'm a frog right now. And she just, she's swimming up. Like, um, she's swimming up. Oh, no fair, I'm just, I'm just a frog. And just look at the sunset, I just love it. And I just, just look at the shadowing. I love it, but look at this. Oop, I, I did not mean to do that. Like, ooh, but I just want to go back. Just look at that. Maybe I can have this as the thumbnail if I talk for so long. Should I? Yeah, okay.
yeah, I, I think I'll just like let you know leave it right here. But you yeah, just, just look at that. But you know, I, and I love sunsets. But you can say, ooh, and there's a couple right below them. Ah, and it's like, oh, like this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You're so right. And she's like, here you go, kid. I'm sorry. I didn't want to steal your card. I just really need the money. And he's like, oh, you know that that's okay. And and then pff, she falls off, but he's sticking on because he's a frog, but she's a new. And he's like, oh no, I'll never catch her in time unless he she, he drinks Hop Hop's coffee, the one he bought for him. He's like, Ooh. and he steals a bunch of towels and so he can catch her. And he's like, oh, you saved me, thanks, kid. And he's like, oh, you two are in big trouble, right? You know, the Ferris wheel's not free. And he's like, oh, here you go, like you know, oh, very good, sir. But you, you're fired, Bad Bella, you're fired. And then, you know, the spray kind of, you know, looks like, hmm, she gave me my car back. I need to help her out. Oh, excuse me, sir. She is the best, like, bellhop ever. Like, you know, um, like, you know, the person who brings the bags. She gave me a personal tour. She even recommended the Ferris wheel to me. I think the new king will be outraged if you fire her, your best employee. The new king. Oh, you, oh, you need to give her a raise. Oh, okay, very good, sir. Yeah, yeah that sound good, Bella. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. And he walks away. Thanks, kid. It's people like you who show me that, like, you know, um, that, like, you know, there's so dreams and there's so hope out there. And he's like, oh, you know, you know, you know, no problem. You gave my car back. It's the least I can do. Hey, you want to buy, like, 100 and Sundays? If you're buying, yeah, sure. And then Spray's like, ugh, he's so tired. And he, this alarm goes off, Anne's alarm. Who? and that was so rejuvenated. And so, let's have an adventure. Sprig, and Anne's like, Sprig, come on, more hijinks. Let's do some hijinks today. Oh, go away. Come on, Sprig. And Paul's like, hand over that credit card. And Anne's like, I heard there's a Ferris wheel. And that's the end of the episode. I give this half of the episode a a 95%. First half was a 90, this half was a 95, so overall I give it a 93%. Yeah, this was, um, well, the, you know, while episode five and episode six were A pluses, this episode, episode seven, is so fantastic, but it's just an A. It's an A, an A episode. But, but yeah, the second half is better than the first half because we got to meet the king. We talked about the box. You know, um, the the visuals were beautiful. Sprig kind of had an episode to himself. We got the voice of Mabel, like her guest starring. I, I love it. It's just. And forgetting about the box, and what also bugged me about the animation of Sprig putting like the coffee in his jacket, but I kind of think kind of because I'm like, okay, maybe I'm being too harsh, but come on, the thing with Anne kind of really stuck with me. But yeah, other than that, but yeah, I just you know loved the episodes. Yeah, I just loved the episode seven. This was fantastic, and you know, um, I don't really know what time is it, but if it's kind of so early, early for me anyway. I think I might be able to do episode 8, but I'll see. But everyone, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, don't forget to share the video, and I'll see you guys possibly later today, hopefully later today, for episode 8, which is Lost in Utopia, and the second half is called Sprig Gets Schooled. Alright, I'll see you. Bye.